Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the Thai fairy shrimp, scientifically known as Branchinella thailandensis. This fairy shrimp was first described in 2002 by a couple of researchers. I can't really pronounce their name, so I'll go ahead and just list them in the video. But this was the first record of a fairy shrimp species belonging to the family Thamocephalidae, particularly in Southeast Asia. Now, as far as the distribution of this fairy shrimp, like the name entails, the Thai fairy shrimp, it originates from Thailand. Its habitat mostly consists of ephemeral wetlands, however, this can include roadside ditches or even rice fields. This is another fairy shrimp that is actually quite popular in the aquaculture industry. At least from what I can see on different platforms, like eBay, this is the most popular fairy shrimp that you'll probably find on there. Now, I tried looking up habitat requirements for this specific species, however, I couldn't really find much information. In this case, I just went with my typical substrate mix and see what happens. After adding the eggs to the tank, they hatch within a 24 to 48 hour period. Also, please note that this is indeed a warm water species, so it does require higher temperatures to thrive. Now, as far as growth rate, I would put these guys in the moderate category. They seem to mature around one to two weeks. However, I do see a majority of them maturing around the two week mark. So I actually messed around with the salinity and also added different minerals to see how it will impact them. So after testing out different parameters, in my experience, they seem to like water that is actually low in total dissolved solids. So after two weeks, they will probably reach sexual maturity and they will start mating and producing eggs. The males of the species will pursue females, however, they're not very persistent. The mating process of the species is fairly quick, just like most other species. The male will use his second antenna and also cephalic appendage to clasp onto the female and begin mating. Again, like most other female fairy shrimps, uh, the females will thrash to escape the male's advances. Now, as far as behaviors and swimming patterns, I want to say that both the male and females of the species are pretty graceful. They both have a gentler swim and tend to stay in one spot in a stationary swimming pattern. Females, on the other hand, will stick to the bottom of the tank or the habitat floor, and this is to avoid um, male advances from them sneaking under and trying to latch onto them. On the other hand, males will actually be in the center of the water column or at the top, and this is because they're probably looking for a female to mate with. Now, characteristics of the Thai fairy shrimp. I wish I could describe this, however, some of the features of these fairy shrimps can be quite complex, and I'm not so sure I can thoroughly describe it to you. So I went ahead and linked a research paper in the description below. So hopefully it gives you a better understanding on how to identify the species. But for now, you're just going to have to take my word on it that this is the Thai fairy shrimp. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this short video. And if you want to see more content like this, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.